Right, good morning everyone. Now I'm just going to show you how to make this particular flower. It is just a basic rolled flower. Um, I've shown you how to do this one many times. We've got it on the website and I've shown you how to do that one recently as well. But um, I'm just going to play around today and share with you, you know, some bits and pieces. Um, I like the way somebody commented about <clears throat> how they've got quite a few uh, flower ideas now for their projects, which is, that's the best thing, that's how it should be. So I'm just going to choose my needle, which is this one, which is getting well worn. What about this one? No, it's too thin. Um, so we're going to do this. You're going to need a strip of um, ribbon. And you can do this with any ribbon, but I need a centre for that one. And that's blue. I don't want blue. I want the lavender one. So, and remember what I did with this one. It, we've got a video out on that. I, I'm just going to fix this one together, actually, because uh, I've made some little leaves. So I'm going to show you how I do those as well. Very, very easy. But because I want them the same colour as the flower itself um, I'm going to add these leaves to that and like I've always said never just put one on it doesn't really look right so I'm going to add two to this one I think today yeah and there you've got that you could add another one if you wanted to. But no, two's fine. So we'll get on to do that flower. I'm just going to put that back in the tub. Get rid of that. And like I say, um, I need a purple one. So wrong thread, mate. Come on, Fee. Let's have a look, see if we've got a purple one. Yes, there we are. There's a purple one. So I'm just going to thread my needle Pop that in there a minute Thread my needle Oops, there is it, there we go Now I'm only going to use a single thread I'm using a silk thread. The sun's out, it's a bit awkward with the lighting in this room. I'm using this ribbon, we do sell this, this is a satin, like a silk ribbon, sorry. Silk, but it's wired, but I just take the wire out. And I'm just going to cut a length. And what you do is you take out the wire. Just hold it with one hand, push with the other, and then just ease it down. Don't pull it because you can snap it, and then you're going to be stuck. Just ease it down. Like that. Never waste the wires because they come in handy when you're beading. And I just wrap around my fingers, give them a twist, and then I can use them. Push. I actually pull it through with my teeth. Just wrap that around my fingers, give it a twist and it goes in a pot. Now this is um, just over an inch wide. I'm going to seal mine off. On one end, like that, and on the other end I might not use it all, that's why I'm, I'm not shaping that end at the moment. This end, what I'm going to do is to just... Oh no, sorry, I do apologise. I'm forgetting which flower I'm doing. <laughs> We're going to seal it. 
Let me move that out of the way. Turn that over so you've um, made it like half an inch. Just fold it in half. Ray's coughing like a trooper today, unfortunately. He's not too good. He's got cold or flu, the start of flu, I think he said. Right, so you have to just do a running stitch. Let me just get this right, it's awkward. <laughs> so, because it's a wide ribbon. And then we just do a running stitch. All the way across. Right, now I'm just going to pull that back and fold that in at the end. Because <clears throat> that's going to be the centre of our flower <clears throat> so 16 inches long an inch wide fold in half stitch it down the middle that gives you this this uh, what's what you can see let me just show you here that look so it's not a raw edge like that and then what you do is you pull that down you gather it up make sure it's going to Go down, oh god, what's stopping it now? Oh, I might have to just, just do it to there. Sometimes, I dare pull it because I don't want to snap the um, thread. So, let's have a look. So, you pull it down and then you turn it in and stitch. So that is not going to come undone, this ruffle. You should do it all the way down, but it doesn't matter because that can be the, it's going to be the outside of it anyway. And then you just simply roll. And I'm going to glue as I roll instead of stitching. You can stitch it if you want. I just find it easier to roll it and glue. And what you want to do to make sure that your edges and the bottom of this stays flat. Like that. So now you can do it. Like this. And that keeps it all level. <coughs> lift my thread out of the way and pull that around oh glue <laughs> Jesus I'll just re-thread my needle because it's just come undone so like I say now the tighter you roll it um, the fuller the flower looks that's just letting you know that I haven't done mine very tight at all and it it's a nice flower now what I'm gonna have to do is um, kind of like crimp this together because it's uh, flat like that just pinch it together and that'll be like and there you go you get like a little rosette so i'm just going to oh i'll be glad when i get my new glue gun because this one is i'll show you what it look it drips like mad look how much i'm wasting never wasted so much in my life and for a, a person who don't like waste that's a killer <laughs> it's like oh my god Oh, glue everywhere. Oh, God. Oh, I can't thread a needle with glue on my fingers. I think it's going to be one of those days, you know. 
but maybe not. Right, let's try again, Fifi. It's a bit that I've not caught there properly. I'm just going to pinch that in like that. Go back through where the needle was, where the thread is. Oh, I'm going to have to do that again, I think. Nothing's a problem, it can all be fixed. But you get a beautiful ruffled flower. It reminds me of a, like a carnation, I think. So you see. And I could pop a pearl if I wanted to in the middle like that, which makes a difference. So let's do that while we can. Like that. Oops. Turn the pearl round. They're just really, really pretty. And then just, it, it's not very well put together that one, but put a bit of cloth on it, it won't matter. No one's going to see it. So that's that. And like I say, you just need to put a little bit of... Um, Felt on there. Let's see if we can find a piece. Oh, here we go. I think. Yeah. <coughs> oh, let's have a look. We just need a bit like that. And then we can just cover that. See, you don't see any of it. It's fine. And that's the flower. But I actually want... I shouldn't have done that because I wanted that to go in there. But I could still do it. I'll just have to make another one. <laughs> but that's how you do them. So, we've got this one, which all you do is you cut a long strip. You now, you really do need a long, long strip. Um, I usually use a metre in them. A yard to a metre, depending on what ribbon I have. And you do a running stitch down both sides. You pull one as tight as possible. And the other one, you don't do it as tight. Because you need it. Well, when you pull that, this will automatically go like that. Get it to the thickness you want of the ruffle. And then tie it off. This one, as I've shown you... Um, Stitch six stitches, fold it underneath or fold it over. Do across the little bit you folded and then do six more stitches. That's how you do that. I've lots of uh, videos on that one. And now we've got that. So what we're going to do next. Um, I'm going to scream because this is driving me nuts. This glue. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Do you know what? Let's do some different for a change <laughs> for a change I'm always doing something different I love my little doll yesterday she was absolutely adorable I know folk want me to show more dolls but I have to be careful as you know and my channel's not done for children it's actually done for adults only, so I can they can lose my videos, and I don't want that, so I have to be really careful. Although everything I do, I feel like display things only. Right, I've got some of this, which is that lavender colour. And I think what I'm going to do with this one, let me see. Yeah, let me just cut a piece. Right, hang on. I'm just going to cut a piece off. It doesn't have to be straight. So again, this is about 18 inches, 16, 18 inches long. So I'm going to go like that. And let's do another one, not 
quite as big or wide. So I've got an inch and a half, two inches, okay? Now, let's just see. Burnish one end. Burnish the other. But what I'm going to do, if it works, is to crinkle this. You're just crinkling the edge. Like that. Both sides. Which is burnishing, but it just crinkles it because of the type of fabric it is. That will do. So, take my needle and thread. <coughs> knotted the end. Fold it in half. And this time, you're just going to do this end. The folded section. Where before we did the open end. You're going to do the folded section on this one. Now remember mine isn't perfect because we don't go for perfection like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of people don't understand the membership. They think if you become a member of someone's channel, um, you know, there's all kinds of cost. It's not. It's two ninety nine. It's two ninety nine to become a member. And you get added perks like videos before everybody else does. After a certain length of time, when I know that the members have watched them, then I can put those videos, you get them early, you see, but I can put those videos to um, non-members. Uh, which does seem a little unfair if they're not members, but they're still getting them free to watch when a member's paying. But the money's not paying for the video, you're paying to support my work. And in that respect, um, you know, I can buy materials that I need to continue doing all the videos for people. So, it's just very much appreciated. I know that. Right, I'm just folding this up now. And this one I'll stitch and not glue. And just keeping it all the same level. See like there. So this is always flat. And then we just roll that a little bit more. Always keeping that as flat as possible. Work your way around, so you bring in that flap there like that. You're working around the flower. And then we continue to do that. This is what you've got to be careful of, because the ruffle is... Uh, just separate that a little bit here and there. Right, I'm just going to finish this off. Here, like that. And then stitch around it. I'm 
we just tuck that in there like that and again you've got another one that's made the same as you can see but it's got double edged like that you know and I'm just gonna pop a dob of glue on there and pin that to that and that's quite safe so you've got another rose I like uh, these are very similar to what I call the old English roses and we just cast that off like that but you can make them as big as you want and just keep going round and round and round so that's that one now just get some more thread and then hopefully let me just add glue on it I'm not sure if what I'm going to do next is going to work with this one I'm just going to fold that in half because I've just thought about it to be honest but it should be a shabby rose okay so we're going to need both pieces and I'm not going to singe it at all yet fold it over on the end so you can do this with all your scraps really fold it in and in again and stitch it and then what you're going to do is you're going to bend it backwards and fold give it a stitch fold once more bend it backwards and fold and give it a stitch it's very easy you can do a double stitch if you want that's not quite safe so it's still got plenty of a fold on there so fold it in bend it backwards and fold and then give it another stitch I'm going to give it a couple of stitches I've still got enough of a fold on there so fold it in like that bend it backwards and fold again and just keep doing that until you've uh, built out the size of the rows you want I'm just going to twist it and fold it a couple of times like that fold bend it back twist bend it back and twist and fold and twist now what I'm going to do is to cast that off and start using the glue gun because it is getting bigger okay but what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep this flat so now I'm now it's got that size for me to grip it like that it'll be bend and twist bend backwards and twist and now I can glue it but I'm keeping hold of this and keeping it flat 
bend and twist, bend and twist, bend and twist. And you just keep doing that so your rose is the length you want it, or the width, the size, sorry. Till your rose is the size you want it. Okay. Now, with that bit there, you just put a bit of glue on it, fold that over. See, don't worry about this because you just, what you do with this is you burnish all them off. So that's a nice mini rose that you can add to a project. So that's a, a filler. But if you want to continue, I just do this. Just to continue, you get the ready, ready for the next fold. And now you can... make the rose grow <coughs> like that And just dabbing the glue on that's all a lot of people make the mistake of using far too much glue on many things and you just need dabs of it like that They do take quite a bit of fabric, that's why I only cut small amounts because I don't want to cut loads and then waste it. But you can do the same with ribbon, you don't need to use fabric, but I'm using fabric because it's I've got plenty of it and it's easy. Right, so we've got that and we're just going to dab that down like that and cover the bottom up, see, like that and you've got a nice rose but I need to just get rid of all the... Well, I don't have to at all see, you've got a really nice rose and that would look nice in there but I don't want to do that <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is add that to that one. Yeah. Do I need to cut some? No, it's too too late. Don't want to do that. Oh, come on, glue gun. Can't believe how much glue you waste with these. Okay, so just going to pop that one on there like that and that's done that flower that one's done and this one I'm not sure do I yet yeah, you know what I'm just going to do that why not so we've got that one mixing the two together and the little rose uh, now with that just to make it pop we can add a very small p 
pearl. And there you go. So I hope that's helpful, folks. And, you know, get your sewing things out. Get your scraps of material. And just play. Best thing to do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. And members, I do appreciate you being members very much so. Bye-bye for now.